Hey guys, so I want to do a real quick YouTube video. Now, I know I haven't done YouTube videos in a long time. It's been literally been years. But I want to let you all know I'm coming back. And I actually want to become the newest activist towards my formal religion as one of Jehovah's Witnesses. You know what? For a long, long time, I was at the point where I just didn't give a damn anymore. I did, I said, I'm just gonna move on, like a lot of people do. But you know what? I just can't keep it to myself anymore. You know what? It's been now over 14 years since I walked away from that God forsaking, blood sucking, brain washing watchtower organization. And I thought I could just move on and just forget about it. But let me tell you, I can't keep this to myself. You know what? If you knew what life this religion used to be when I was in that religion versus what it is now, oh my God, it has changed their beliefs and their teachings so dramatically over the years. Let me tell you this. About year 2003, that's like what, 15, 16 years ago, I remember I wasn't going to the meetings because of my job. And my mom was kept complaining to me. And so I remember I told my mom that um, if we didn't have so many meetings, which I'm sure you all remember, we had five meetings a week, Tuesday book study, two hours at the Theocratic Ministry School, and their two hour Sunday meetings, you know, I told my mom, if we didn't have so many meetings, I could go to the meetings more often. And you know what my mom said? Vic, I guarantee you this. That would never happen towards the Watchtower's organization. They'll never take away. Actually, Vic, they actually will add more if they're going to do anything. Now, of course, I'm not going to go into a discussion about this yet. I'm just welcoming myself back into the YouTube world. And I'm actually kind of feeling excited. Oh, I forgot too. Today's the election day. <laughs> November the 6th, 2018. And I voted. That's what this thing is right here. But what I was trying to say is, in another video, which is going to be coming soon, I'm going to discuss things my mom swore to me it would never happen towards the Watchtower organization. And every single thing she swore it would never happen, it happened. So I want you all to really enjoy my coming soon YouTube videos. I'm not going to be this real boring videos. I'm going to be very animated. And I just want you to enjoy it and say, wow, I like this guy. Wow, I love that video. God, I'm so excited. I want to see what his next video is going to be about. I want you to like it. And I want you to subscribe. I just want to be a good activist. And you know what? I also want to, in the near future, I actually want to even call some kingdom halls when I know their meeting's about to start. And I want to call them and ask them some questions. You know, I see some people doing this and they subs and they record it. I want to do that same thing. You know, I want to ask them about what they feel about baptized Jehovah's Witnesses and being a pedophile. Because let me tell you, I'm going to call. You watch. I'm going to call that congregation in Mesa where my uncle used to belong to and just be anonymous just a normal person and let him know that this person used to go to this congregation and he's been arrested 64 times including aggravated assault multiple DUIs multiple extreme DUIs peeping Tom oh and failing to register himself as a registered child sex offender Oh, but he's a regular pioneer since 2015. You know, I want to ask those two elders, see what they say. So I really want to get back into this. So 
I want you just to stay tuned for my upcoming videos and I really want you to enjoy it. Especially for my Carrie B and my Angie. I'm really going to do it. I'm no longer going to keep these silence anymore. And you know what? There's some things I'm going to be telling in the future. I promise you this. I'm going to be talking about the Bible. Because one last thing I'm going to say is I remember my mom used to get so irritated when I would do a YouTube videos back in the days or saying something about Facebook about one of their twisted beliefs. My mom would get so mad at me telling me, and I quote, Vic, we as Jehovah's Witnesses are just trying to follow what the Bible says. Now, of course, back then, I didn't know how to respond back to that, and she won. But let me tell you this. Um, I will be doing a video. I actually, I'll probably do a couple videos on some very vital, very serious, very important videos of some important Bible scriptures that I know and Jehovah's Witnesses know that they are forbidden to follow. Want to give it a good, let me give you good, good, some good examples. Being a born again Christian. How about worshiping Jesus? You know, Jehovah's Witnesses are forbidden to worship Jesus. Why? Is there Bible scriptures that says you can't worship Jesus? Keep in mind, prior to 1954, the Jehovah's Witnesses actually quoted and said it was biblical that you must worship Jesus. But after 1954, that changed. Hmm. What are you going to do if I do a video and I could quote more than one Bible scripture that says you must worship Jesus? Hmm. What do you want to follow? The Watchtower Organization or the Bible? So I really want you all to stay tuned to my upcoming videos and I really want you to like them and enjoy them. Okay, I hope you all have a good day. And once again, hi, Carrie B. Don't worry, I have your book signed. And Angie, love my Angie. Oh, of course, I love watching one of my favorite YouTube videos. Subscribers is Mike and Kim. I love watching their videos. Oh, they're great. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Bye.